everyone, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Janelle and today I am going to be teaching you guys how to create this look. This look is perfect for anyone who does have hooded eyes, mono leads, anyone who struggles with their eye shape. This is my go-to eyeshadow look that is really simple and really easy to achieve and it's going to really open up and brighten your eyes at the same time. If you guys like the idea of this video and potentially want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe to the Maybelline makeup lofts channel and let's get straight into the video all right so the first thing we're going to do is prep those eyelids with hooded eyes we get that fold that creases a lot we get a lot of that oily build up and there is nothing more important to make sure that we have that perfect base so that any eyeshadow will look great on top so i'm going to use the 24 hour color tattoo cream eyeshadow in urbanite and it's this beautiful light tan color so just with a flat brush, I'm going to apply that all over the lid. This cream eyeshadow is going to also act as a sticky base for whatever I put on top. So it's really going to stick and accentuate those colors. I'm also going to put a little bit underneath as well. Okay, so now we have that perfect base all over. We're going to start by adding a few of those shimmery colors that are going to lift and brighten the eyes. Usually with hooded, monolid type eyes, the eyes can look small and we just really want to open that up and bring light to the eyes. We're going to start off with the City Mini palette in rooftop bronzers. I'm going to go in with a beautiful champagne color on the first half of the lid and we're going to go into this deep bronze color on the outer half of the lid. So just with a flat shader brush, I'm going to pack on that champagne color and press that onto the first half. So with hooded eyes, to make this as wearable and as easy to follow as possible, a good rule of thumb is to look straight ahead and make sure that you can still see the color peeking through when your eyes are open. Because usually with hooded eyes, when you open your eyes, all the eyeshadow has disappeared into the fold of your eyelid. And just with the dark bronze color, I'm now applying that on the outer half. Again, I'm stopping where if I were to open my eyes, you can still see a tiny bit of that color through. With hooded eyes, often we don't have a socket or a crease to blend into. So applying your shimmery tone colors on the lid first can be a really good guideline as to where you need to stop blending. We don't have that socket where we can just run a soft fluffy brush through there. So this is the next best option. So next I'm actually going to go into the bronzer that I applied onto my skin. I love a little bit of a deeper bronzer. So this one is in the shade medium warm and I'm going to go into my fluffy brush and blend that area where the eyeshadow meets the skin. This is going to help to give that illusion of a socket without being too harsh. With hooded eyes, often our eyelids tend to droop a little bit and therefore you really want to lift the outer corners of your eyes just to make sure that your eyes look super lifted and open and awake. I'm now using that bronzer onto the lower lash line. Now with hooded eyes, eyeliner can make all the difference. So I've got a Master Precise eyeliner here and this one is in Forest Brown. I love to use brown on a day-to-day -day basis because it is a little bit softer and I find that brown brings out my brown eyes even more as well. So we're gonna do a really nice thin to thick liner and what that does is, it, like I mentioned before, it's gonna lift that outer corner a little bit and open up our eyes. So with that liner, I like to hold it sideways and the reason why is because it helps to draw on that line like i'm stamping it on as opposed to trying to get that perfect line in one go just a little baby wing for now just to open it up and keep it really simple so i've just got a tiny fluffy brush here and i'm going into this palette here which is the matte about town and pick up this dark brown and i'm going to smoke that into the outer lash line I love to do this step last because I like to see how much a difference it actually makes once the eyeshadow is finished. Again, it lifts up those heavy hooded eyes. So I'm bringing it into that outer V and then slowly working it into that socket, but just a little bit. I like to work into the socket about halfway. If you go all the way in, it starts to look a little bit ridiculous. And by socket, I mean where that you've placed that bronzer, but a little bit lower because you can see it's slowly giving the illusion that I do have a socket, even though I really don't. 
So now I'm just going to curl my lashes, add some mascara, and then add some false lashes as well. So false lashes are going to be your lifesaver when it comes to hooded eyes. So I will see you guys really soon. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I've got my lashes on and some mascara, and it's already helped open up the eyes quite a bit. But there is a few extra steps that I want to show you guys just to open up the eyes even more and just to help with that hooded situation that you've got on your eyes. So this is a pretty important step that I pretty much do almost daily, and that is to apply a light white or nude on the waterline. So today I'm going to be using the Master Drama Light Liner and it is a brightening eyeliner. And that white just gives that illusion of more open eyes. And lastly, bringing that light back into the eyes, we're going to go back in with that palette, the Rooftop Bronze, and pick up the light gold shade and place that on the inner corner of the eyes. And there you have it guys, this is my go-to really simple and easy eyeshadow look when it comes to hooded eyes. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to Maybelline Makeup Loft's YouTube channel and I will see you guys next time. See you guys.